everybody. Today I'm going to review Snap One CT761 3 8 inch drive impact wrench. Now this is using lithium batteries. It's very compact and it's part of their 14.4 volt lineup. Now the nice thing about this is the fact that you know the size is very manageable. It's not heavy at all and it does have a very usable amount of torque coming in at 120 foot pounds. So what we'll be doing in this video is really going over the different features that they have built into this. We're going to be doing torque testing as well as decibel testing to see how loud it is and then we're going to see the type of performance that it's going to give you. If you buy one of the kits, what's going to be included is a protective tool bag, the impact wrench, two of their two amp hour battery packs, as well as a fast charger that can bring these back to a full charge in under an hour. Now if you're already a part of the 14.4 volt micro lithium lineup, then you can just buy this as a bare tool and you don't have to buy an additional charger or additional batteries. Here's a closer look at the impact wrench and the first thing I want to point out is that the nose cone is going to be made out of metal. All the dark red you see is going to be a very hard plastic and then this black portion is going to be a softer rubbery overmold. The battery actually slides into the handle. There's a tab on this side as well as a tab on this side. All you'll need to do is press both the tabs in, press down on the battery, and it's going to pop right out of the handle. So you can either recharge this and reinstall it or swap it out with a fresh battery. As soon as you slide it in and click it in place, it's going to be ready to go. And as soon as you pull the trigger, you'll be able to get right to work. Now I also want to point out that the trigger on this does feature a very unique design as far as being a rocker switch. It's a variable speed rocker switch. If you press it towards the top, it's going to go in forward or tighten. If you press it at the bottom, it's going to go in reverse or loosen. So the nice thing about this, you have excellent control. If you want to go very slow, you can barely press in on it. Or if you want to go very fast, you can press it in and all the way. On the front of the unit, they do have three different LEDs and when we press it on the trigger, those are going to light up and it's going to illuminate whatever you're working on. Now another really nice feature they have next to the trigger is going to be a battery indicator light. So right here if I press in on it, you can see it's going to light up green and that means we have a 40 to 100% charge on the battery. That's going to drop down to yellow which means the battery charge would be between 25% and 39% and finally when it turns red it's between 0 and 24%. So whenever you see red or yellow it's a real good idea to pop this battery off, charge it up and swap it out with a fresh one. Now the last feature I want to talk about is the electric brake. It works absolutely excellent with this. As soon as you release the trigger, the socket's going to stop turning automatically. Now what I mean by that, I'll go ahead and place the socket on the threaded rod and then put it in reverse. You can see as soon as I release the trigger, it automatically stops. And it not only works that good in reverse, but we'll go ahead and try it in forward. So what that's going to enable you to do is have full control the entire time you use this and whenever you release the trigger it's never going to continue to spin. Now for a real test to see how this actually performs I'm going to go ahead and see if we can remove some lug nuts off this Honda Pilot. Now I put this wheel on about six or seven months ago and I have not removed it since. At that time I torqued these down to roughly about 100 foot pounds a piece. And while a 3 8 inch compact impact is not designed to remove lug nuts, let's just see if it can do it. Snap-on claims that this has up to 120 foot-pounds of torque, which is a lot of power to pack into a compact 3 8 inch impact wrench. And we'll be able to verify that because I do have a fixture clamped down the shop press with a grade 8 bolt pre-installed. What we're going to do is run another washer as well as another nut down on that bolt, torque it down with a calibrated torque wrench, and we're going to start out at the 120 foot-pound mark. Now if it can remove it, I'm going to go up. But if it can't remove it, I'll go ahead and pop it off of there with a larger impact and then try again at a lower number. This way we're going to get an exact number as far as the torque rating goes on this impact wrench.
Okay, it was able to remove it at 150 foot-pounds. When we bump that up to 155 foot-pounds, now it cannot remove it. Now that is beating Snap-on's estimate of 120 foot-pounds by a full 25%. Now to take a measurement of the sound levels or decibel ratings, we're going to be using this decibel meter that does have a live screen that's measuring the amount of noise inside the garage. And with me talking, you can see it bouncing around. Now when we take an ambient noise reading, just take a look at it. You can see the noise in here is really next to nothing. Now what I'll be doing is measuring this from roughly three feet away, which is going to be about my arm's length. So that is about as far as it can be away from my ears. I'll be doing full forward and then full reverse. So here's our first test. It's going to be in full forward. And now full reverse. So now you've seen Snap on CT761 3 8 inch impact wrench for yourself. You know, I'm normally not a fan of these compact impact wrenches, but this one actually has a good amount of power. I was able to prove that with the torque testing. So they didn't over-exaggerate by any means. It's a very usable amount of torque coming in at over 120 foot-pounds. Because the kit does come with two batteries, you're never going to run out of power as long as you keep one of them fully charged. And I honestly think on just one battery pack, even if you're using this exclusively all day long, you'll be able to get through an entire work day and not drain it fully. Now the one thing I would have really liked to see on this was the fact that the LEDs do not have a time delay. So you can see they only are activated when you pull the trigger. If that had like a 5 or 10 second delay so you could light an area up, that would have been nice. But, you know, in many cases it's not a big deal. The other thing I want to point out, the hog ring anvil on this worked excellent. I didn't have any problems with sockets not going on or slipping off accidentally. And whether I was using extensions, swivel sockets or normal sockets, I didn't have any problem at all with this holding on to them. So overall, I do think it's a very comfortable, well-balanced, and powerful impact. And if you're looking to invest in Snap-on's lithium 14.4 volt lineup, this would probably be a really good place to start. They do carry a one-year warranty on the tools as well as the battery and the charger. So if you do have a problem with it during that time, they will fix it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.